you know, disrespectful to bring up her, her struggles with uh, substances. Um, however, it, it may end up being that substance has something to do with, with what happened here. I mean, that's, that's, I just was, for me, a reminder that addiction is a fatal condition. It's taken so many of our, you know, wonderful performers. And my, my deepest fear is that we're going to find that my, you know, my peers are involved with this and that she's going to have pills or something on hand that uh, is going to flush out this story to be something that is, uh, we've been hearing about all too often these days. One more question before we go to A.J. Hammer in New York. I want to ask you about this, Dr. True. What do you think about the fact that she was pronounced dead at the hospital just moments after she was found? In the case of Anna Nicole Smith and in the case of Michael Jackson, after they were found, they were taken to the hospital. That was not the case with Whitney Houston. She was pronounced dead at the hotel. Right. My, my understanding is not only not only was she pronounced at the hotel, but uh, only a very few minutes after paramedics arrived, which uh, when I first heard that timeline, that kind of struck my ear, and that is that uh, this is something that must have been fruitless from the start uh, for paramedics to arrive and go, hey, call this thing. It's, it's, we're not getting anywhere. Usually at least somebody will be transported and they'll call it at the hospital. So it suggests, again, that we are completely, we know nothing let's, at this point. Uh, but it suggests that something like that might be the case, that she'd been maybe maybe before she was found and gone for quite some time. A.J. Hammer joining us right now from New York City. A.J.? Hey, Drew, good morning to you. And AJ? Uh, uh, again, you know, it's just, it's so stunning to all of us. Uh, we, we've all been up through the night trying to piece together exactly what happened, but, but I'm completely with you. Now is the time to honor her. And, and a, a lot of people, though, naturally will go to her troubled past with drugs. And if I recall correctly, it was in 2010, so not all that long ago, Drew, when she declared herself drug-free. Yeah, uh, she apparently, I, I actually was talking to some, some professionals uh, yesterday that she apparently had uh, some good sobriety going and uh, was quite serious about it. Now, if you, the, the, the other piece of this, though, is that apparently she was in an outpatient program in May of last year. And, uh, boy, I, I remember that catching my ear and thinking, boy, someone who has chronic problems with substances and is relapsed should not be in an outpatient program. Uh, that, that is somebody that needs to, you know, this is somebody who struggled for a long time and can't quite get it. That is someone who needs to take six months, 12 months, or sometimes like Robert Downey, even 24 months out of their career and just focus on that. So the fact that she was in an outpatient program, again, probably not intensive enough treatment just at that, and then in the fall or winter of this year is now already back making a film, that's a terrible sign for somebody like Whitney. And I, that, my fear is that's really uh, what contributed to what we're dealing with now. We will have